like your style Put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile Girl I swear for you I'd run the world, I'd run the miles The way you look at me I think I'm going insane Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video and to another Marshawn Lynch is back in the NFL video. I hope you've enjoyed the videos I've put up so far. It is Boxing Day today here in Alice Springs, so I want to say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'm going to have to get all of these videos edited and uploaded before the weekend because Marshawn Lynch is going to be playing his first game back in the league since week number six of last year. What an amazing story. I, I have a feeling guys, I have a feeling he's going to ball out. I have a feeling he's going to get 100 yards, but for that to happen, they need to play him enough. They need to give him enough carries. And I guess because of that, I want to see what his carries are like. I want to see what his movement's like. I haven't done a, a proper you know, film study reaction on Marshall Lynch, on many players at all. But today we're going to do that. So it's not the QB school. It's not any of the others that you've recommended me. It's actually a random one with 2,000, well, sorry, 16,000 subs. Jackson Kruger Sports. Uh, so I'm going to give you a shout out, mate, and see what you've got to say. It's titled, Film Study, Marshawn Beast Mode Lynch is back in the NFL as a member of the Seattle Seahawks. And let's see what happens. So Marshawn Lynch is back in Seattle. That's right. Get your Skittles ready. He is back. It is one of the coolest things that's happened in quite some time, I think. Damn, that wasn't an easy run. Let's watch that again. Skittles ready. He, he is back. Back. It is one of the coolest things that's happened in quite some time, I think. Having a legend of the game, in my opinion, a Hall of Fame running back. I think that he, honestly, Marshall Lynch he is. is the best running back that I have ever seen play. <laughs> now, keep in mind, I'm not old enough to have seen guys like Barry Sanders play, for example. Sure, I've seen clips of him here and there. And I'm, I'm aware, you know, I have seen some games. I've gone back and watched, but. In terms of someone that I've pretty much watched their entire career of, there's nobody quite like Marshawn Lynch. And I'm going to tell you exactly why. I think this is a brilliant move from, from the Seattle Seahawks perspective. I think this makes a ton Trips right. Gun formation. Where are you going? Ton of sense. I think he will have a big impact for them this season. And one of the things that I think is very unique about him is just the fact that he is probably the strongest person, like, alive in terms of just his leg strength. It's just unreal leg strength, and then you pair that with quick acceleration. He always seems to fall forward because of his leg strength, and he also has just incredible footwork. I mean, it's like he was made in a lab to be a running back. It seriously is. He, uh, you know, he basically covered everything there. Strength, uh, you know, acceleration, probably a 4'6", 40. But not only that, he's got an amazing jump cut, and... The center of gravity, the base that he has, his legs, when he runs, his legs are like running on it, you know, <laughs> when he's running, you know, his every step, his, his legs are sort of going outwards. It's not just straight up and down. So if you can imagine someone who's, he's basically running in the, in the he's basically running with his legs in the same, you know, formation as he would be doing a jump cut, except he's stepping whilst he's doing it. So what that means is his legs are so wide, you do well trying to wrap up both legs. You know what I mean? So, and <laughs> if he is charging at you, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're just going to try and take out his legs? Because in rugby, you'd have to try and wrap him. You know what I mean? You have to try and wrap the arms. Whereas in NFL, you can literally just go in with the shoulder or go diving straight at his legs. So, either that or you, you double team him or, well, I don't know. Let's find out. He's, he's that effective. And keep in mind, I am saying Ooh, he that is nice. that effective, not he was that effective. Because the last we saw of him, he was playing pretty great before he got hurt. I mean, listen, that was over a year ago at this point, so we'll still have to wait and see. He's probably not going to be as conditioned. What did that defender do? Did they just high-five each other? We saw of him, he was playing pretty great before he got hurt. I mean, listen, that was over a year ago at this point, so we'll still have to wait and see. Bro, you just... What? <laughs> Sorry guys, but you completely, uh, you just let him through. He's probably not going to be as conditioned as he, he was, you know, in previous years. That's definitely going to be the case, actually. But I definitely think that you put him on a pitch count, you have him play, you know, 20 snaps, maybe you give him 10 carries. I think he can absolutely have a positive benefit, which is important because Seattle's halfback core is now a little bit weak. 
They got banged up. They need a new halfback, and I think it just—I think just—I just think this move. Damn, man, sense. that's just—that's just strength. And so let's just jump. There was no hole there. Jump into why. So let's just jump into it, and we'll start off with this play. This is actually from his last game that we've seen him play in, and it was ironically enough against the Seattle Seahawks. What's going to happen is that. Oakland's center, right guard, and right tackle are all going to go out the block of those three players right over there. Well, it's actually going to be really unique here is look at that Seattle defender who's right in the middle right there. He's going to do a great job of disrupting this play. He quickly gets into the backfield, and now at this point, there's no way this play is going to go for too much of a gain. It just isn't. So what would a lot of guys do in this situation? Probably try to run as close to that left guard as possible, squeeze through for as much as you can, and just sort of fall forward and take what you can get. What does Marshall Lynch do? That's what most players would do in this situation, What's he gonna especially do? players who are, at this point, 32 years old. However, most players don't go by the nickname Beast Mode. Watch how he just lowers the shoulder and drives forward. I mean, listen, that's not, like, the greatest play you'll ever see. It only went for two yards. But I think that that kind of play goes to show just the physical nature that Lynch is going to bring to to this football team, to the Seattle Seahawks. He's one of the most physical backs that has ever played the game. I really do stand by it. He is the only halfback that I've seen... Two yards is two yards. ...actually beat down opposing defenders, not the other way around. It's not he's getting worn out. Oh, go! He's making tackles are getting worn out. That's just the kind of runner he has always been his entire career, including the last time we saw of him. I mean, I think a lot of people forget there was a point there in the last season that he was playing with Oakland where he was top five in, in rushing yard. Look at, look at the, look at, you know, the, the, look at the width of the base he is running on with his feet. They're so wide. Has always been his entire career. And what that means is that in the motion of running, he can really, you know, jump cut without having to put that left foot out too far that way or that right foot out too far that way. Let's watch. Including the last time we saw of him. I mean, I think a lot of people forget there was... Okay, one cut, there one cut. The Bro, those feet season that he was playing with Oakland, where he was top five in, in rushing yards. In his last They're just really season wide. that we saw of him, he had you know what I'm saying. 1,000 yards. He had 891 total yards, and it was actually 15 games, not a total 16 games. But that was the second to last season that he's played in. And Bro, if he does one run like that against the 49ers this weekend, I'm going to go nuts. He averaged 4.3 yards per carry in that season. And then the next season, he ended up with... Averaging, it would have actually been a thousand and one yards if he had played for a full 16 games. So, definitely, this guy is still playing at a productive level. Maybe not at an elite level. He's probably not going to rush for 1,500 yards ever again. But you know what? They don't need him to. They just need him to have a positive impact. And he can absolutely do that. Like, this play's another great play. It's just going to be a passing play. He's going to run out over there. And watch what happens right when the ball is snapped. He makes the catch. And now this is a very unique situation. There are three Seattle players in the area, so what would most halfbacks do? They would just run up the middle, get tackled, hey, at least you gained, you know, five to ten yards. Good job, it's a check down. All you're supposed to do is just gain a few yards. But that's just not what Marshawn does. Watch how he just sprints by everybody. Even at 32 years old, this guy has the speed to do something like that, to outrun linebackers, and now when there's a defensive back in the way, he's just going to run over that guy and pick up even more yards. Yes, even still, at, you know, he's now... Okay, let's see, let's see, once again, his wide base. See, to do something like that, to outrun linebackers. Bro, if they had the camera from behind him, they would have seen his feet go fucking wide as. And now when there's a defensive... Very extreme, extremely hard to tackle, man. I'm going to say it again. ...back in the way, he's just going to run over that guy and pick up even more yards. Yes, even still, at, you know, he's now 32, and I fully expect him to still be similarly at this level, where he can outrun linebackers and run over defensive back. Well, mate... I hate to burst your bubble, but he's actually 33. Uh, let me find out. Yes, he is. 22nd of April, 1986. And he's still just as physical as he ever has been. At least he was the last we saw of him. And honestly, I fully expect him to still be that. That was way. yeah. He had, good, he had good speed off the off the catch there. He caught it, turned around in the air, bang, straight away. Let's has, go. You know. Potentially only two more games to play with the Seattle Seahawks this season. Obviously, for them, they're hoping four or five more games. But either way, I think that the fact that he is such a physical guy, I think it will bring something to the Seattle offense that has a banged-up running back. See, he knew that he, he actually he knew before he caught the ball that he was going to sprint that way. That's the thing. 
See, look, guy. he gets through. He gets like through that. right here. Okay, he sees these two defenders going that way. He sees this defender going that way. He sees these two guys in front of him. He knows he's going to turn around and have a mental picture of what's behind him. So he knows as soon as he catches the ball, yes, he's going to sprint. That has right. He knows what's behind him. He also knows that whilst this ball is being thrown to him, these defenders are going to realise he's getting the ball and they're going to start coming back on this angle. A very hard, horizontal angle. He knows if he catches the ball, he turns around, starts running downfield. These guys are probably going to close in really, really quickly. So, in the one motion, he grabs that ball, sticks his foot in the ground, and knows where he needs to go. As a banged up running back group right now. And also one of the that was nice, man. To the Watch this. Offense that Turns around. He jumps in the air. Two feet. Yep. Grabs the ball. Turns around in the air. He literally did a 180 when he grabbed that. Turned around. Bang. See ya. Running back group right now. And also one of the things that has made Marshawn Lynch such a great player. What makes beast mode beast mode is a play like this. Where they're going to have their left guard and left tackle run out the block of those two Seattle defenders right there. And they're going to pull Jared Cook over to block another. That's Seattle dangerous. Player. So, Marshawn Lynch is going to actually fake as though he's running up the middle. But then he's going to break to the left side of the screen, and that's where he's going to try to run. But what I love about this is once he makes his cut, look at how far he extends that leg. I don't know if anybody is as good at doing this as Marshawn Lynch. Well, actually, I'll have you know that I've just watched both Barkley and Fournette do counters just like that. Literally sticking their foot in the ground way out wide to get that extreme angle running the counter. And, uh, you know, it was something I hadn't seen much of, to be honest. And now we've just seen it again. In the history of the NFL, the way he sticks that one leg out and bends his other leg, it's perfect form and it allows him to very quickly get the power to shift his body weight in such an extreme way. Because then, watch how quickly he can accelerate and get to that second level in one- Bro, the best thing about that run was that little shake. The little shimmy. The little juke in the air, but ba ba bang! It's the hips, it's the head, it's everything. It's the two feet coming down, so the defender actually doesn't know which foot you're going to bang off. Now let's watch that again. Such an extreme way, because then watch how quickly he can accelerate. I love this man. I love it. Shift his body weight in such an extreme way, because then watch how quickly he can right, can't left, right, right, left. So he's gone off his left. He's gone. Eh, eh, eh. And then bang his left back down again. See? Both feet are wide. Which means the defender really doesn't know which way he's going to step. And get to that second level. And once again, he puts his shoulder down and runs forward. And, you know, he always falls forward. Every time he gets tackled, he falls forward. Probably would have been better not even doing that step. Forward and getting his extra two yards. I legitimately... Because he didn't actually get on the inside of that defender. He just... Sort of ran into him. He cannot remember a time where he got stopped in his tracks. It just doesn't happen. He falls forward for a couple of yards. And also, he has the acceleration in that footwork, as, as you see. Still, I keep saying still because I feel like a lot of people are talking about, well, he's washed up. I don't think he is. I mean, he wasn't the last we saw of him. I think that, for whatever reason, people kind of felt that way. Maybe partially because he was playing in Oakland where nobody was really talking about him. But... I don't know. I think I can easily see Marshawn still having some major success. I don't know how much longer he wants to play. He might just want to play for the rest of the season. And honestly, I think it makes some sense. I've always kind of wondered why people don't do that more often. Like Seattle has done this before when they got Devin Hester. You know, late in the season, just pick up a legend who maybe isn't in the league anymore, who maybe he couldn't do it for a full season, but he can absolutely play well for just a couple of games. And if not, well... Then you're still back in the same situation you started. Exactly, you may as well give it a shot. And I do want to bring up his acceleration because his acceleration is still there and it'll be shown on this play where, first things first, there's going to be two double teams. And what's unique about that is the fact. Well, let's actually let's see his, his true acceleration because I can't remember what he ran. I think it was a 4.64 from the top of my head. Marshawn Lynch. Here we go. 2007. Guys. <laughs> Four four six, not four six four. I'm sorry, Marshawn. I'm really sorry about that. Let's see. Uh, 
Uh, it's about 10 foot, about 9, 9, 9, 8. Okay. Anyway, okay. From now on, if I reference Marshall and Lynch's speed, it was 446 at the Combine, 2007. But that means that the Cleveland edge rusher right over there is going to be unblocked on this play. But Oakland is okay with doing that because they're going to have a jet sweep. And so the idea is the edge rusher will have to stay a little bit further outside because it could be a jet sweep. But it's actually not going to be a jet sweep. It's just a jet sweep motion because then they're going to hand the ball off to Marshawn Lynch who will just run straight up the middle. So not a bad play. However, right when the ball is snapped, if you notice the edge rusher, he is not fooled. He realizes right away this is going to be a handoff to Marshawn Lynch. I'm going to run over and try to make this play because I have to right now. But check out Lynch's acceleration. He just runs by him and gets to that second level and is able to gain a solid run on that one. Some of these plays might not seem like they're unbelievable highlight reel level plays. They're certainly not the, the beast quake type plays that we've seen him do in Seattle. And that's kind of what he did in Oakland. Maybe he didn't have those big runs. So I guess you could say to some degree he wasn't quite at the same level he has been at. But... He definitely still is a very valuable halfback, and I think that the fact that he can turn those two-yard losses into five-yard gains will do a lot for a Seattle offense that likes to run the ball. And one more play just to show that Marshawn Lynch absolutely still has it is this one. It's once again going to be a passing play. He's just going to run out and run that route right there. And so Derek Carr, he's going to just you know take the snap and get the ball to Marshawn Lynch. So Lynch now has the ball in Oh, it's so exciting, man. When these running backs get into space on either side, they turn around, they've got space in front of them. That is when they're lethal, man. I just absolutely love it. I love running backs getting a small pass, whether it's a, a you know, whether they line up in the slot like he has a couple of times or whether they, you know, motion out to the left or right. Um, do their swing, swing route to the side, whether it's a flat, flat route. Um, any, you know, any, any time a running back gets the ball off of a pass and has some open space in front of them, I love it. Once again, there are a couple of Cleveland Browns in the area. Like, what's he so going to do here? He's going to have to turn around. Could do anything. That's the great thing about running backs, man. It's flair. It's, uh, it's vision. It's, it's whatever. It's natural. It's natural ability. It really is. ...round and try to see what he can do. But and each player is t slightly different. Again, watch how he's going to stick his... Oh! It's once again, I mean, honestly... If you wanted to make a Jerry West style NBA logo for the NFL, you should make one of Marshawn Lynch with his legs like that because that's just how he, he I mean that's just how he's able to get the, the strength that he can to move around and also how he is able to move so quickly and shift his body weight so quickly. Because watch how he completely jukes out of Brown, then bounces off another one and it takes like four guys to finally bring him down. This isn't deep in the archives. This is literally the last we've seen of him. This guy can still play. Of course he can. People this. I said it last year, although I didn't have a YouTube channel at that point. That back then I was just blogging to my like 50 page views a week. But now that I actually have a, a, a an audience, I'm see he knows what's behind them already. He's sussed it out. He's turned around. He's caught the ball. He knows that this defender's coming in from his backside on the right. So he's gonna stick his foot in the ground waste no time whatsoever and start running the other way. I'm glad that I can Bang! see people because this guy can still play and you're gonna see it once you watch that Sunday night football game in Seattle with Marshawn Lynch returning. If nothing else, it's gonna give them just a huge boost because that crowd is gonna go crazy when he gets announced. Hell yeah. And you know they're gonna give him some touches early on and let that crowd just go nuts. I can't Imagine wait. him getting like a like a touchdown on his first drive. I mean the atmosphere is going to be insane. If you're going to that game, have some fun. Cause that's I would fun. love to, man. No, I'm, I'm, I'm getting shivers just thinking about it right see, now. It's one of the coolest situations that's happened. I mean, a Seattle Seahawks legend deciding that I'm going to, you know, join the team right before they play their most important game of the season to try to win their division or maybe even get a bye week, depending on how things break out. It's honestly just fun. It's just a cool situation. It's something you like to see. So yeah, I mean, that's what I think of this. Let me know what you guys think. I'll, uh, I always enjoy hearing what you guys have to say. And as always, thanks for watching. No worries, brother. No worries at all. Thank you for that. Um, we're almost done. We are almost done.